All right, grab your water. I need it. Dying ready. Let's get technical today. So what we're gonna start off with is unilateral reverse lunge. So that seems like a lot, but don't worry. It's, it's hard, but it's easy to explain. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have one dumbbell in your hand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep the knee that's opposite of the dumbbell bent and the other leg, the side of the dumbbell is gonna go back into the lunge and you're gonna stay on that same leg before switching to the other side. So with this unilateral reverse lunge, your core is always tight. This is where your core comes in. Switch sides. You always want to be nice and even. Core is always tight. You're pushing off of this front leg. You should feel it all on the front leg. Core is tight. Body's nice and upright. Take your time. Breathe out. Next, a little bit challenging. We're going to do a seated overhead press. So pick a weight that's doable. The reason why I have you seated is because it's harder. When you're standing up, you have the motion and the momentum of your feet to hoist the weight over your head. So this is going to engage your core more, focus on your core, and it's gonna be strictly strength. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your dumbbells, elbows come out, pressing straight over your head, Dumbbells come to your ears. Core is always tight. This is hard. Pick a weight that you could handle and do. And remember to breathe out. Next. Again, you're gonna go a little bit heavier. We're gonna do a sumo deadlift. So you're gonna have two dumbbells right between your feet. Toes are pointed out. You're gonna be on a little bit wider of a stance here. Instead of the goblet squat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be hinging forward, just like a deadlift. So you're gonna start with the dumbbells up top. You're gonna hinge forward. Remember, hips go back, bending at the knee. I want you to imagine someone has a rope tied around your waist and they're pulling you back. Your back is straight, core is always tight, and you're squeezing your glutes at the top. I don't want you to overextend backwards. You're stopping right in line with your whole entire body. Remember to breathe out and go heavy. Next, we're gonna work on your upper body strength. You're gonna go to the end of your mat. We're gonna do an inchworm and a push up at the end. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna try and keep your legs straight. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings. If you can't keep your legs straight, you're just gonna do a slight bend in your knees. Walk yourself out, push up. Walk yourself back up. You're standing up. Walking yourself out into a plank, push up. Make sure you're breathing out. Do as many as you can with a regular push up, then drop to your knees, push up on your knees. Same thing, remember to take your time, breathe out, and do what you can. Next, this is going to be a little bit of a circuit. Let's say more of a tricep. So we're gonna go back to back with three exercises. You're gonna have the band above your knee, Get a nice tight band. We're gonna start with bridges. So knees apart, there's always tension in the band. Bridges, hips up, squeeze at the top. You're gonna do 20, and then you're flipping over to your side. You're gonna do 20 ultra, uh, leg lifts. 
side leg lifts. So you're hitting that glute. You're going to do 20 bridges again in between each set. And then you're going to the other side. 20 reps. This is a burnout. And then one more 20 to finish off. Your glutes should be burning by the end of that. It one's, it's a hard one. <laughs> and then last one, you're gonna grab your weights. You're gonna do a supinated bent over row. Supinated means your palms are gonna be facing out away from you. You're gonna be bent over, elbows come in close to your side. Palms facing out, core is always tight, a nice bend into your knees. <sighs> Breathing out. Take your time. <sighs> all right, and that's it. I hope you all enjoy the day and enjoy this workout. Let me know, tag me in your posts, tag me in anything to let me know that you're getting it done.